Before we move on to our light heavyweight semifinal between Khalil and Josh, we're actually gonna bring out the winner, Khalil Roundtree, in the crowd somewhere, folks. Awesome, awesome, listen, great to see you. How you feeling? This is a big moment, Khalil. How you feeling right now? I feel good. It's, uh, it's definitely an exciting experience to, uh, to be here and have seen the fight and for it to all be over with. Uh, well, it's not over yet, my friend. You still have well, just one more hurdle. Now, now I can tell my friends and family that this is what happened. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We'll tell you what, folks. Let's take a fight recap of Khalil's fight. And what was going through your mind in this one? It was a, a teammate of yours. You've been in that situation before. This time you were thrown down with Josh, somebody you actually got quite close to in the house. Yeah, yeah. This time, um, you know, compared to fighting Corey, was a lot different. Um, I knew what it was like to fight a friend when I fought Corey. And so Josh and I kind of agreed before we went into this fight that we would just, you know, seal the deal later like we go back to being friends and stuff later but um you know as a fighter sometimes it takes a certain type of intensity to go out there and perform you know the way that we usually do so um that's what it took for me i just really had to, to turn off that switch and um look at josh as if he's you know just any other opponent well i, I want to know what it took for you to come back from being dropped you guys both showed a ton of heart you both dropped each other how hurt were you and, and what kind of, uh, what was going through your head when you got dropped there? Uh, so when he did drop me, it was more of like, when he hit me, it broke my nose. And oh, that's what, wow. that's what had me fell. So I saw like a, a flashing like white light. But when I stood up, I definitely didn't feel like wobbly or anything like that. So um, I think that's why I was able to keep going because I just, you know, there was no dizziness or anything. I was just, you know, still in the fight and knew that I had to get up or, you know, get finished. Now going through this fight, did you expect it to play out on the feet the whole entire time like it did? Uh, no, like being that Josh and I were training partners the whole time, um, he helped me with my wrestling the entire time that I was there. And, uh, you know, we had our striking ex ex exchanges and sparring. Um, so I figured that since he did get the better of me in the wrestling all the time, that he would probably go towards his strength. Um, and, uh, you know, so I didn't expect him to, to stand there and, and uh, you know, throw, throw heavy shots with me, but uh, it was cool. I'm glad, I'm, I'm very excited on the outcome. Now, Khalil, obviously you were part of Ioana's team. You spent a lot of time around here. How deep is the animosity there? How badly does she want to be, Claudia? Uh, I think the animosity is deep and it's very real. Um, I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it's about. But um, when them two were around, she always, you know, found something to, to pick at or, you know, just the looks on both of their faces when they were next to each other was always, you know, always bad. So uh, it's tough. <laughs> Khalil, it was more than just picking at each yeah. other. I heard the, as soon as the cameras went away, they actually threw down. So so who won the fight? How, how long was this fight? Like, give us a breakdown of what actually happened. Honestly, I wasn't there. You'd have to ask uh, Andrew or someone oh, else. Oh, come I was on. At, I was in the hospital. Josh uh, broke my nose. Uh, I'm like at the oh, hospital. Oh, good excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always Josh. So. <laughs>